Good evening. Thank you for joining me on the second episode of Stardew Valley. This is the Happy Wife speaking, and are you ready to continue our gaming life? So previously, we created our farmer, Emmy Wu. We got her started on her new life in Stardew Valley. Um, we received our Riverside Farm, which definitely needs some work. It is a fixer-upper, and we were able to meet about half of the villagers. So I think today we can expect maybe to meet some more villagers and also to see what else we can forage and maybe gather some wood and stone that we will need later. As you can see, the time on the game is 10, 10 a.m., and that's because I took the liberty of redecorating Emmy's house just to make it a little bit different. Um, in the 1.3 update, you are able to move the fireplace. So I moved it to the center of the room. I just think it looks better there. I put the porthole windows on each side, spaced out the decorations, moved the table in the middle. So in the fall or winter, it looks like she could be sitting here next to the fireplace and put the TV over here with a mat as if you could lay on the floor and watch the TV. So now that it's 11 a.m., I guess we should get this day started. So let's check the weather for tomorrow. Kozu 5, what do we got, Kozu 5? It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Wow, spring 3, and already we're going to get a full day of rain. But that's typical for the spring, isn't it? All right, and let's check our fortune. How are we doing? Oh, we have a little extra luck today. That's good. Emmy's a new farmer. She needs a little bit of extra luck. Is that all? Yep, looks like that's all. So let's take a look outside. Oh, and we do have a letter. Let's take a look at that. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? For sure. Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's general store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. I definitely think we're going to prioritize getting that backpack because I tend to fill up space really quickly when I play these kind of games. And what else we got? Hello there. I just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Willie. Oh, Willie, what do you have for us? Although, can you imagine if you got a letter from in the mail from somebody you didn't know in a town you just moved to saying, come meet me at the beach. I have something for you. Hmm, a little scary. We also have our green chest that we crafted last time with our things that we are slowly starting to store in here. Perfect, perfect. And we have our little parsnips that are growing. Let's get those watered. Perfect. I can't wait for us to really get into the series where we have a lot of different things going on. I think it'll be really cool. Um, like I said before, I'm really excited to play this game with you guys. You know, I had thought about just playing the game by myself, but I thought, you know, I think it would be more fun to broadcast it. It would feel like, you know, I'm talking with somebody here with me. And also, you know, I like to watch these kind of videos for relaxing. I don't know about you guys. Oh, what's this? We have a dandelion. Perfect. Uh, do you guys like dandelions? I always thought they were pretty. I picked them a lot when I was a kid. I liked both the yellow ones and when they became like little white fuzz balls. So who did we not meet yet? I really want to try to prioritize meeting everybody as quick as possible. Looks like some of the people who live in the bottom half of town and also the upper half. So let's see. Oh, what is this here? What do we got? Help wanted. I'm looking for someone to bring me 20 copper ores for inspection. Hmm. I don't know if I have a time limit on these, but I'll accept it. If we have time, I'll do it. Two days. Hmm. I don't know if it's possible, but we'll try. To the beach. Someone named Willie invited you to visit the beach south of town. He says he has something to give you. Visit the beach south of town before 5 p.m. Oh, we'll head down there. Don't worry. Also, we need to harvest that parsnip. Okay, is anybody here we need to talk to? Well, there's some people over there we haven't met yet. Let's get back in there. Hello, ladies. Hi. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. I don't really like this art for Jody. If you guys remember, I'm using one of the portrait mods. It makes her look very... I'm going to say it again, mature. That's what I said a lot in episode one, but... I think she looks better here. In the original one, I feel she looks very young, you know, too young. But this is very good, I think. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. 
Yeah, I guess, because now there's nobody farming, right? So, yeah, that's definitely quite a change. Okay, and how are you doing, Robin? Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Well, it is only like 30 people. It's not so bad. Hello. I've seen wild horseradish in the forest. Foraging can be a fun way to earn some cash, or you can use what you find as gifts or food. We will definitely use it right now for cash. Hi, Marnie. My nephew Shane has been staying at my place the last few months. He helps me out with the chickens, so I'm not complaining. That's good. Did we meet? Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. So this is a new person also, Emily. She looks very happy. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. We'll stop by there later. I notice a lot of the people, though, when they introduce themselves, they don't really say who they are by name. It's kind of interesting. And how much is the backpack? 2,000 G. Hopefully we can earn that soon. And also, Pierre is selling some things, but we are pretty broke. Mm, I wonder if we should go ahead and start buying some plants. Hmm, maybe, or wait until the parsnips harvest. Or maybe we can start now since it's already spring too. Let's see, I don't know how much, how much I could buy, one of each? Hmm, let's try. Hmm, is my bag already full? No, I don't know what I'm thinking, let's see. Tulip? Kale and jazz. Now my bag is full. Hmm. So maybe I should go right back and plant these then at home? Maybe we'll be spending today planting instead of meeting everybody. Yeah, let me do that. I don't know if buying one of each is a good idea. But we'll give it a try. Maybe I can keep some of these aside for storage for now. I really need some time, I think, to decide how I want to organize everything. So let's see, I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's put this one. It's on a trellis. Let's put that one here. Okay, put this here. And this here. And this here go spring crops so let's see what are we growing we're growing green beans cauliflower potato and some flowers right there we go that looks good let me go ahead and put my dandelion in here there we go all right now let's see if we can meet some more people in town oh there's a little squirrel up there he's very cute and we also have to get to the beach before 5 p.m. We cannot forget. Cannot forget. Maybe I should go now, in case I do forget. <laughs> that might not be a bad idea. Let's head down there. Mm -hmm -hmm. Pelican Town looks nice, right? The cemetery in the middle of town is a bit of an interesting location, but eh, maybe they have a reason. Oh, I did we meet? Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. You talk like some of the people in my undergraduate courses. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. So are we your friend now? Can we go in? Because before it said we had to be your friend. He didn't answer us. Okay, well, let's assume. So here we go, we're at the beach meeting Willie. It's funny, like how does she know who to walk up to on the beach exactly? Maybe he just has a look that says, my name is Willie. Ahoy there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. He seems very relaxed. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. You must work very hard, sir. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Well, that's fantastic. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. You have chosen the right person, my friend. We love to fish. She looks so happy. You received a bamboo pole. Nice. 
Oh, he looks serious. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. I'm excited. I really like fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. We will. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Hmm, so if it doesn't smell, it won't sell. Is that right? <laughs> so what is she looking at? Emmy's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna ignore that and look at the ocean. Yay, so we got a bamboo pole. We can fish. I guess it's only fair that we try it out after we just first received it, right? Hopefully we get a bite. I'm excited. You know, normally in these kinds of games like Harvest Moon or Animal Crossing or even other games that just have fishing, I really tend to like it a lot. And it's interesting because I don't really love seafood, actually. It's okay. Oh, here we go. Let's see. I think I remember how to do this. We have to keep it behind the fish. And this fish looks pretty easy because it's not moving a lot. All right, here we go. A sunfish. Great, first catch. I don't remember if we need the sunfish later, but I may hold on to it just in case. Cool, first fish, sunfish. And here we are on the beach. Oh, and it looks like we have something to collect, a clam. I wonder if that clam is whole or if it's just like a normal seashell where it's only half. Oh, and also we can't forget we need to repair that bridge with 300 wood. Okay. Oh, here's some children we haven't met. Children, wait. Oh, a stranger. My name is Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. <laughs> that's that's a good judgment. <laughs> all right, that's all. Hello. Oh, very quiet, shy. Hi. That's it. Just hi. I feel she follows the rule about strangers more than Vincent. Hey, Penny. I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. Oh, so you're a teacher, like me, in real life, Penny. That's cool. Maybe we'll become good friends with Penny. Hey, man, I think we met yesterday, didn't we? But you're just hiding behind this bush. Oh, hi. It's good to see you again. Yeah, we met yesterday then. Take it easy. Sure thing. Just, just hang out there in the bush, man. Why not? Okay... Who else do we have still? I'm really trying to collect the people quickly. Still some townsfolk. And the people up in the mountain, it looks like. Hmm. Oh, wait. There's one of them. There's one of them. Wait. Don't follow the children. Oh, she's just ignoring all of them. Hi. Oh, you're that new farmer girl. Or whatever. Aren't you? So what would be the whatever? Hmm. Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Well, at least she still had the afterthought to give us her name. Hmm, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be pretty. Actually, never mind. But imagine saying that to someone you met for the first time. Haley, it makes you kind of hard to get to know, I think. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can find the people. First, we'll check the saloon and then the fountain. Hey, oh wait, you're another one, come here. What? What do you want? Go away. Oh. See, I just knew there would be somebody who was not excited to meet the farmer. And that's all. Okay. Are you excited? The beach is a cool place to hang out and soak up some rays. It is, sir. You gotta spend some time in the sun or else you'll get all pale. Which is exactly what used to happen to me, Alex. Alright, let's go in here. Oh, yep. We got another newbie. Hello. Oh, that's some crazy eyeshadow. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. Hey, Gus, give me another round. <laughs> okay. That seems to be all she has to say to us. Okay. Enjoy yourself. Oh, excuse me, sir. All right, then we should probably head up to the mountain and see if we can meet some of those people. Let's go. I really like the nature sounds in this game. When I used to play by myself, I would turn off all the town music and just turn up the ambient sounds all the way up to high and just listen to like the birds chirping and things. I think it's very peaceful. Hi! Hello! Don't jump, man. Don't jump. Greetings! I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Well, thank you for introducing yourself. That's more than I got from a lot of people. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Maru? She's interested to meet you. I think we met Maru yesterday. 
Oh, look, what is that? Horseradish. Nice. It looks like um, a pineapple. Interesting way to illustrate horseradish. Uh oh, it's getting late. Wait, you're a person. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town. Yes, because we like nature. Is that carport? Do you have a car? Is this door open? Oh, sweet. Oh, they're having dinner. I don't think I'll interrupt them. Bunny! I love rabbits. Alright, who else? Who else? Who else? Looks like... Oh, we didn't meet the bartender. I thought we did. Oops. We'll see him later. Okay, let's look around then. It's getting late. We could run back there, but we spent a lot of time in town today, I think. Oh, there's a tent up there. And there's a guy trying to fix something. We won't go that way then. Let's go see if anybody's in that tent. Has a campfire, it looks- Oh! Oops, I'm sorry. Oh good, I can turn- I uh, just turned off his campfire. Hello, sorry about that. A stranger? Hello. Oh, he looks very- oh, He looks very interesting. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. Okay, Linus. He looks so well-groomed, surprisingly. His beard is very fluffy. Alright, maybe we can consider heading back home then. We do live on the river farm, so we could always fish tonight if we wanted to. I think we could get some good fish there. It's part of the perk of choosing the riverside farm, right? Oh yeah, here we are, and I've got to get used to navigating this place. Alright, let's see. Probably nobody else, unless I ran back to the bar, but I don't think that's so necessary to run back there. We don't have to do that, we can just meet those people later. But I do need to get through here. Excuse me, pardon me, grass. Alright, so we have our random six crops that I kind of just bought spur of the moment there. And I believe somewhere on this farm there's a dock to fish, isn't there? Excuse me. Oh, I don't think we can reach that, it's too far. But should I be fishing or should I be getting materials? Oh, frog. Let me just try fishing, just one more time here on the farm. We do have the riverside farm, right? I think, I think it's necessary. Oh, and I just noticed that I have no space. Huh. I'm really not used to having only one row for the backpack. But we'll give it a try, let's see what happens. Mm. No, must get it. All right, there we go. I remember I had a pretty good time with the fishing mini game. It's not too crazy for me, I remember. There we go. Smallmouth bass. That we have no space for. Um, throw out one piece of wood. It's just one piece. Now let's take the bass. I don't think the bass we need, but because I don't remember what fish we're gonna need later. I feel I should just keep it until I'm sure. And then later we can sell it, I think. Let's just keep it. And we do need to keep this horseradish. We can sell these two leeks. We'll keep the clam and we'll keep this for now. Put the fiber in there. Alright, and let's sell these two leeks so that we made something, some money today. There we go. Leeks shipped. Okay, we have some time still. Why don't we work on getting materials and things? Looks like we're really gonna need wood, right? We need 300 pieces for that bridge. And I did spend it all on the chest. So let's just collect some wood. It's getting so dark, even on my computer screen, it's getting really hard to see, but I can pretty much make out where the wood is. Okay, there we go. So I'm curious, what is like the most popular farm choice that people choose? This thing I really don't know actually. Mm, is the standard farm still the most popular because of all the space? Or do people like some of the other ones more? If you know, I'm really curious. If you could either tell me what kind you chose or tell me what you think is the most popular farm. Like I said before, I just really love water, and it was like my dream in the old Harvest Moon games to be able to basically have a farm on water. I know, like, in some of the games where you could choose where you wanted your farm to be in the town, I would try to choose, like, near the beach or the ocean. 
Because actually, that's probably my biggest ideal would be near the ocean, but I can understand how it's probably a little farm hard to farm directly on the ocean. We have a lot of stamina, but it's getting close to midnight. Maybe we better send her to bed. I don't remember all the bad effects from going to bed late. Probably she won't start with a full energy bar, but that's okay. Let's get her to bed. All right, we have our nice cozy house. It's a little dark in here, but it's okay. Oh, I forgot to put the materials away, but that's fine. Let's get to sleep. And our little leeks. We got 120 gold from the leeks. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, and let's go ahead and play through day three. I think two days is good. And this is our rainy day, right? So we don't have to worry about watering today. What about tomorrow? Beautiful sunny day. That's good. You don't want it to rain two days in a row. But the portholes look very dark without the sun. A little extra luck. We'll take it. Now let's take a look at this rain. Wow. Very springy. Not so dark. Very light. Let's put this away. Put this away. We've got to really keep our bag clear, I think. Good, good. We didn't get any mail or anything. Plants are still growing nicely. So, again, who are we trying to meet? I keep forgetting. It's... Alright, these three. So I think we can meet two of those people today. But first, what should we do? Oh, I know. We haven't really been around the forest too much. Let's maybe take a trip around the forest, and then we'll come back around into town today. How about that? We'll just kind of spend our first couple of days meandering around Stardew Valley. Get used to everything. A lot of frogs. Oh, looks like we need a pickaxe. And the scythe. There we go. Through our farm. Alright, what a nice day. Take a walk in the rain. I would like to take a walk in the rain, I think. But sometimes rain is just too heavy. And you get wet even if you have an umbrella. That part I don't like so much. Okay, let's see, let's see. Do, 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 do. Anything this way? Oh, another dandelion. We will accept it. We'll accept it. Always something to sell. And another horseradish. We are in the early stages of farming. We need all the money we can get. This kind of looks like our farm like this. Let's see. It is. It's similar, right? It's like a little... I feel like it's a little archipelago, kind of, but it can't really see too well. Feels like a similar setup, though. There's a lot of water in Stardew Valley. Anything else? The sewer? Ew. Probably we don't want to check that out right now. Oh, I see a horseradish. Got it. I really like the little pineapple horseradish. It's very cute. Let's see. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay. I remember somewhere there are like onions that grow in the spring, but I didn't see any. Maybe they only grow on certain days or maybe they don't grow in the rain. Somebody's house there. Oh, look at all the dandelions in, around. And it's also interesting because there's like... The white part and the yellow part of the dandelion. Alright, let's moosey on into town here. And I think one of the people we haven't met lives up here. He lives... Here, I believe. There we go. Excuse me. I just came into your house. <laughs> it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Are, are you agreeing with me? I'm not sure. Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Hm. Oh, alright. You have a book here. I can't read it. What are you watching? Can't see. Looks like a game show? I don't know. Cookies for every season. The Dark Blue Life. A coal miner's memoir. Hmm, somebody likes to read. That's another thing. When I play like these kind of games like Harvest Moon or Stardew Valley, I really like going through people's stuff in their house. <laughs> I feel we learned some things about their character maybe we don't learn right away just from talking to them. Looks like a good day to play catch, huh? Outside. If you weren't a girl, I'd ask you to play catch. If you weren't a girl. Fine, just watch you. I want to play catch with you. What's that supposed to mean? 
probably if somebody really said this to me, even though it sounds weird and it's a stranger, I'd probably just answer this one. Yeah, some people just aren't made for sports. And to be honest, that's also me. I'm not really into sports. Hello. I saw the most beautiful family of butterflies sunning themselves in the town garden yesterday. Oh, well, that's beautiful. A well-stocked refrigerator. A garbage can. It's empty. Some food on the table. And I don't think we can go in anybody's room yet. So we'll just ignore that. Later when we become friends, we will definitely rummage through everybody's stuff. Okay, and the bar doesn't open until 12, so we'll leave that alone. Looks like this is going to be a good day for fishing. Trying to keep the art of fishing alive. I'll pay 90 gold to any enthusiast who catches three anchovy. Why not? I think it's possible. Oh, he's closed on Wednesday, so we will not even bother with you, sir. We are going to save up money for that backpack. And this building is locked. We cannot access it yet. Alright, we will ignore it. So, we can fish anywhere, right? If I remember, it doesn't have to be on the docks. So, is here good? I know there's some fish that can only be caught in the rain. Actually, quite a few, I think. So, maybe we can get those if we are lucky. I hope so. Let's see. We don't have any bait or anything, so we have to wait, unfortunately. And we got some algae... Oh, hello. Did you come to watch us fish? What am I going to do today? You're going to watch me? Probably nothing. Well, good. That's just the kind of talk we need for our audience. And I just realized my thing is full again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just cannot handle this small backpack. I'm full of stuff so fast. Oh yeah, we were waiting for that guy so we can meet him in the saloon. I can't believe we didn't talk to him yesterday. I thought we did. I just thought we did. Let me get back down there. That owl on there has is cute, isn't it? The Star Drop Saloon. Food and spirits. Oh, he's over there. Hello. Sorry, we didn't talk to you like I thought we did. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Hi there, Emmy Woo. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome. Okay, and our journal updated. How to win friends. Give someone a gift. Okay, I do have these extra horseradish. You you said you you chef, right? You cook? Take this. No, no, no. What? I'm sorry. You said you like cooking. You don't want horseradish? You must not like spicy food. Sorry, but we will take that 100 gold. That's kind of fun, actually, not knowing what people like. I just went with my logic, but my logic failed me. It failed me. Oh, and I remember in here there's some game, right? Maybe we'll try it later. Yeah, I remember, but I don't want to try it now. We'll try it later. Okay, now let's see if we can get out of here. And seems there's nothing else for us to do today. I will go to the beach then and fish for a while. And then we can work on collecting more wood again. How does that sound? Right. And then later I'm thinking for each day we'll kind of alternate on a focus. Maybe one day we will do like a foraging day. Then we will do a fishing day. Uh, later a mining day. Kind of like that. Oh, we got something. Oh, it's not moving too much. Maybe not any special fishing fishing fish yeah i think it's a fishing fish any rain fish any rain fish you know what i'm teaching i make a lot of word mistakes like that it's kind of funny sardine which is not an anchovy that is not an anchovy oh this bag oh i can't handle it i should work on really getting some money so that we can upgrade this but when our parsnips finish growing that will help us upgrade our backpack oh and i remember you can dig through the trash right <laughs> But you're not supposed to let people see you. Because let's be honest, you're not supposed to dig in garbage cans. Hey, I'm trying to come up with a new song for my band, but I'm blanking. Hey, what do you think my new song should be about? Farming, a city in the sea, trains, choose anything. It'll still be a horrible song. Why would I say this to a stranger? Um, I like the ocean, city in the sea. Hey, you know what? That sounds perfect. Thanks. 
I'll come. Will you will you make it about Atlantis? Because that's the only city in the sea I can think of right now. For sure there must be some songs about Atlantis already, I think. All right, let's go ahead and sort this stuff again. And then... All right, let's see. Let's put the fiber away. Shouldn't need to save any of this. The sardine, again, I'm not sure. Oh, and this, the green algae. I don't think we need to save algae, so we will we will definitely go ahead and ship that. So three dandelions, horseradish, and green algae. All right, all right. I do want to keep fishing for a little while in case we can get any of those special rain fish, but I don't remember how much fishing level they need to get. So I think let's fish for a little while longer and then we can collect more wood because we need wood. You know, a lot of times in those old Harvest Moon games, I was always short on like collecting materials. I think wood. It seemed like I always had a lot of stone, but not enough wood. Oh, a broken CD. Not even a whole CD, but a broken CD. That's tragic. <clears throat> so, did you guys have a great day today? I had a pretty good day. I was feeling a little possibly sick yesterday, but it seems I got enough rest and I feel good today. I'm pleased with that. I was actually pretty sick just a few weeks ago. Alright, here we go. Oh, a treasure chest. Oh my goodness. I wonder I wonder if I can get both. I wonder... Come here, fishy. Can you get a little bit closer? Just... Oh, no, 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 no. This might be a little bit hard. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! No, 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 no. Yes, closer, closer. No, not further, further. No, no, no. Yo, we got it, we got it. Now we gotta get the fish. We gotta get the fish. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. There we go, there we go, there we go. Stay, stay in one place, stay in one place, stay in one place. Oh, I need a bigger bar. Alright, we got it! Yes! Smallmouth bath, which is not exciting. But the treasure chest. Mixed seeds. Oh, no. I thought it was gonna be something really exciting, but it's just mixed seeds. Oh, and I don't remember what these are, but I guess we should plant them. Oh, no. I thought it was going to be like pirate treasure, but it's just some mixed seeds. My question is, who put mixed seeds in a box and put them in the water? Abigail said she used to play on the farm. Maybe she put them there. But we don't know. We just don't know. Okay, come on, fishy. I think at five I'll start collecting wood. There we go, there we go. New fishy. No! Almost messed that up. I really gotta get used to this. I know later the bar gets bigger, which is gonna be helpful. Because now the little bar is really hard. Here we go. Shad. Hmm, it has a green tail. That's kind of interesting. Oh, I can't help myself. Just one more. Just one more. <laughs> oh, you guys are gonna find that that is me a lot in this game with fishing. Just, just one more. Just one more fish. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And also we need to work on getting our fishing skill up anyway. It's good practice. We want to get that pretty high. And we are just rolling in the smallmouth bass. So we already collected one from yesterday. So I'm going to toss it. I'm going to toss this. I'll put the shad away until we know whether or not we need it. And I have six mixed seeds. So I guess I'm just going to plant them. Okay, let me make a little bit of space here. There we go. And then let me kind of plant them separately. I don't really want them next to my normal crops. So let's put those here, here, here. And then we're gonna plant... Oh, this cursor, this cursor. There we go. Gotta follow the cursor. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, there. And one more, one more. Yes, good. And they're just gonna be watered because it's raining, which is fantastic. All right, I did promise that we would collect more wood, so let's get on that. I'm trying to clean up all the small parts of the farm because I know that big trees require a lot of space. What is that? Oh, nothing, I guess. Maybe, oh, seeds, I bet. I bet those are seeds for new trees. That would make sense. Oh, that got nothing. Let's see. But I have a feeling this is not boding well for collecting wood quickly. So maybe we should go ahead and start taking down a tree. We don't have one over here by our crop area. So 
All right, um, I think later I need to clear out the middle because I plan to put animals in the middle. So I'm gonna start working on clearing out this part, I think. I had that idea. I think you guys will enjoy it later, just putting the animals all on one little island here. And I plan for it to be this one. I think it's gonna work well. So let's collect, collect, collect. Yes, and I guess we can try cutting down our first big tree. Have to be really careful with this river farm. Oh, acorn, sweet. Acorns are really cool. Oh, here we go, timber. Oh, and still, still the water. But it didn't take as much energy as I thought it would, which is good. I remember some of like the old Harvest Moon games, you couldn't even cut down normal trees until you upgraded your ax. That was tragic, but this is okay. Here we go. And we're collecting tree sap, which is really interesting. You know, one of the things I like about Stardew Valley is that they have a variety of, of things, you know, to collect. I really like that. Like so many small things you wouldn't expect, like tree sap. I wouldn't expect tree sap, at least. I was pleasantly surprised when I saw all these small things, you know, that you could get. I wonder if we can manage one more tree. And these trees are all close to the water, which makes me feel a little bit scared. We are losing the stamina, but let's see. Timber! Let me get that. Get me the do do do. Oh, can't get through, can't get through. I don't think the sickle uses energy, does it? Let's see, can we do it? Can we do it? Yes, we did it. I think that's gonna be the last one. I don't wanna test my luck too much. Now the question is, will we need that acorn later? I don't think acorns are needed later, which is making me want to ship it now so that we can get it on our ship list. I think we'll do that. So let's ship, did we ship any wood yet? Maybe let's ship one wood just in case. Let's ship the acorn, let's ship one sap. I don't remember if we ship fiber, but why not we'll ship one just to be safe. Let's put all that away. Stone, wood, sap, more fiber. I really kind of want to make a campfire for the entrance of our farm, but I feel it's wasteful. But I want to craft something else. So how do we need for the campfire? We need 10 stone, 10 wood, and 10 fiber. I, let's, I really just want to make one just to put at the entrance. You know, it's not that life. You just, you have all these plans, but then you just, you just want to do something completely useless. There we go. And let's make that campfire. Here it is. Yes. Campfire. Now let's put it... I kind of want to put it near the entrance. Like here. And then we can light it. it. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good. But I don't like it in the rain. I feel it's a little unrealistic to have it lit in the rain. So let's go ahead and get to sleep. Alright, that was a nice day. We collected a lot of materials. And we met everybody else in town. Oh, and we leveled up for foraging. Plus one axe proficiency. Trees will sometimes drop seeds. That's wonderful. New crafting recipe. Wild seeds for spring. And a field snack. It kind of looks like a granola bar. <laughs> oh, and level one fishing. Plus one fishing rod proficiency. That's what we need right there. And we need a little bit of money, not bad. Working towards that backpack goal. All right, progress saved. Okay, let's take a small peek out there. All right, everything looks nice. All right, so I think this will be it for Miss Emmy's adventures today. Like I said, thank you very much for joining me on this new series and for this new YouTube channel. I really appreciate it and me and Emmy will see you on the next episode of Stardew Valley, where we will continue working on getting that backpack. Hopefully our crops will be ready and we can unlock maybe some more things to do. So you all have a fantastic day or night and I will see you then. Bye bye.